first. Farmers are thinking spring, getting ready for a new season and looking for answers as they choose the right crops. That's where the NDSU's research and extension centers lend important assistance. Jim Olson takes us to Williston where the research and education efforts continue all year. We're actually quite busy in the winter. Case in point, the work going on here at the NDSU Research Extension Center in Williston. We have a really excellent plant pathologist named Audrey Kalile, and Dr. Kalile's team is working on root rots and pulse crops. This is researcher Tahini Javer. She's testing soil samples for the pathogen that causes root rot. The information gathered here will help here in fields across the region where peas and lentils and chickpeas are important crops. There are many questions to be answered. The biology of the pest, what species do we have in this area, um, what varieties might have some resistance to those pests, and then also looking at crop rotation questions. So how long do you have to wait between planting pulse crops, peas or lentils, um, if these pathogens can be present in the soil for long periods of time? It feels pretty important and enriching as a member of the community to contribute to provide information to the ag community. The root rot research and much more will be presented to the public at this week's Mondack Pulse Day in Williston, an event expected to attract well over 100 local farmers. It's certainly our largest meeting in the region focused on the pea, lentil, and chickpea crops. A little something to help farmers focus on some warmer times ahead. In Williston, Jim Olson, KX News. Mondack Pulse Day is Thursday in Williston at the Ark. And it runs from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So the come, kids are drawn to games, but this two-year-old, you know, he really got into this one. We'll tell you how he got out.